in your United States, you are seeing a lot of Putins in the news. What may be the cause? Okay. So one is nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a condition of the kidney where there is a lot of protein in the urine. Okay. So in such diseases, you see protein nuria. Okay. Very important. Now another condition that of course protein in urine is long-standing urinary schistosomiasis. So if you look, if you live at a very a places where schistosome is uh, endemic, you know. Um, patient comes and uh, you look at the history of the patient, you know, bathing in water, praying at places where she's still some common, you know, and you run the urinalysis test and uh, there is, initially you see that there's blood in the, the, the color look bloody, you know, and then you give the test strip and the proteins showing four pluses, three pluses. You can also suspect urinary schistosomiasis, but you can do other tests to confirm, okay, maybe stool culture or stool routine examination to look out for the cyst of schistosoma hematobium, very important. Now in diabetes kidney disease, okay, you know, diabetes can cause impaired function of the kidney and so it will lose its normal function and so the filtration ability will be hot impaired. Therefore, kidney, uh, sorry, proteins will be found in the urine. Profuse sweating, okay, fever, hypertension, and multiple myeloma. All these conditions you may suspect. Or uh, uh, in all these conditions, there will be protein in urine. Very important. Now, what may cause glucose in urine? Of course, we we establish from the anatomy that. During your information, proteins, sorry, glucose are reabsorbed. So, what will cause glucose to be seen in urine? One common example that we all know is what? Yes. Okay, so when you see glucose in urine, it's a sign of diabetes. Okay, and that is a common test that we use in most labs to confirm diabetes. Okay, glucose in urine. So, another one is sign of re renal tubular disease. Possibly, there is diabetes induced renal damage. Okay, so remember always that glucose in urine can be due to diabetes, can be due to renal tubular disease. Now, diabetes, okay, is grouped into two. We have, in fact, we have a lot of them, you know, but I'll talk about the two the type one and then type two. Remember that we have DKE, which is the hallmark of type 1 diabetes. I'll make another video on diabetes, I'll talk about them. But the point I'm trying to establish here is that whether type 1, type 2, DKE, you are likely to see glucose in you, okay? So after using the glucometer to measure the glucose level, maybe you have high amount. You can also request for urinary test to confirm truly that if there is a uh, glucose in your urine, okay? Very important. Very, very important. So, ketones in urine. What may cause ketones in urine? Ketones in urine may be due to, so that one is known as ketonuria, okay? Found in diabetic patients. So, definitely in diabetes, especially in people who have di diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA, type 1 diabetic patient. You will see ketone bodies there, okay? Ketone bodies. The hydroxybutyrate and the acetoacetate, they are there. That's why initially I said that you can smell acetone. The odor can change the odor of the of the urine, okay, because of the acetone. So ketones are seen in patients who are diabetic, DKA, and in some cases type 2 diabetes. Not only diabetes, starvation. Maybe your pastor asks you to fast for 21 days, you know. So to obey the word of God, you also try to fast for 21 days. And of course, when you return, okay, you are not dead, you know, you are alive. You want to, you are feeling signs and symptoms of, uh, I mean, I mean, weakness. So you came to the lab, the doctor requested analysis. Of course, such a patient. 
you are going to see a lot of ketones because when you are starving you don't take in glucose you don't take in protein food so what happens is that the body tends to use the uh, fatty acid pathway you know tends to use the uh, 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 other food substances like uh, ketone bodies okay so the breakdown of ketone bodies will cause excess accumulation of ketones in the body so when a patient run a analysis test for a patient and there, there are ketones you don't just conclude that the patient is diabetic but have to question whether the patient is fasting or not okay yeah very important blood in urine remember that blood cells are very large shouldn't be seen in urine so urogenital schistosomiasis schistosoma hematobia causes blood to be seen in urine okay very important very very important so kidney stones can cause blood to be seen in urine severe hypertension okay high blood pressure you are likely to see blood in urine and then prostate problem like prostate cancer okay so you you, you suspect prostate cancer per urinalysis you may see blood in urine but we don't rely on this urine test to say that the person has prostate cancer okay that's why you have other tests okay you can use two more markers like PSA for uh, uh, monitoring you know uh, sorry for screening so the prostate specific antigen is more specific for prostate cancer so we don't rely on urinalysis to say that Maybe you see that there is blood in urine suspect, uh, 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 and the person is complaining of difficulty in urination and other stuff, and you suspect prostate cancer, you can further request for PSA. And then, if you don't have PSA, there is another one that they use, it's a PCA3 gene, which is also a very nice tumor marker, which is available, so you can tend to that. But the bottom line here is that you can also see blood in patients with prostate cancer. Five, we have a uh, sickle cell disease. Okay, in sickle cell patient, uh, there is what is called uh, breakdown of RBC. So, a lot of blood cells will be seen in here. Then we have acute glomerulonephritis. Acute glomerulonephritis. In acute glomerulonephritis, what happens is that there is inflammation to the glomerular uh, uh, um, filtration site. Okay, where uh, filtration occurs. So what will happen you know substances with larger molecular size can even tend to be seen in urine example is the blood which now we are talking about here seven is bacteria infections bacteria infection some bacterial infections can cause blood to be seen in urine very important so birubin birubin is basically from when there's breakdown of rbc okay it's very very important to understand that and bilirubin, when it is being released, uh, it must be excreted by the liver into the biliary canaliculi, you know. So we have conjugated and unconjugated bilirubin, you know. But then, bilirubin um, here can also be seen in urine. Okay, and a normal circumstance should be shouldn't be there, because if the liver is performing its actual function to be excreted in the canaliculi. So you may see in urine. And so it supports the fact that if the kidney is uh, sorry, if the liver is diseased, you can find virulence in urine. And one common example is hepatocellular jaundice. Okay. Sometimes hepatocellular jaundice leads to biliary cholestasis. So in patients with biliary cholestasis, you tend to see a lot of virulence in urine. About four pluses. Okay, bilirubin is okay. So increase, right? You do analysis and you record as increased. So always remember that when there's bilirubin in urine, maybe you suspect uh, liver disease. Commonly, suspect biliary cholestasis. So if the clinician want to be more specific, you request for RFT. Sorry, LFTs, right? liver function test or serum bilirubin you know very important both direct and indirect bilirubin you know so here my concern is 
Remember always that the rubin in urine is an indication of liver disease, which can be hepatocellular jaundice, which can lead to biliary cholestasis, okay, obstructive jaundice, very important. So nitrite in urine, when you see nitrite in urine, it is basically bacteria infection, okay? Because there are some bacteria that reduces nitrite. We call them natural reducing bacteria. When they infect you, they will cause the test strip to show I mean deep red color for nitrite, you know. So example of such bacteria is in a series. So if you have gono gonococcus, a series gonoe, that's likely to for the uh, if it is chronic, you know, persists for a longer period of time. There's likely for your nitrate to show. Okay? Some coronary bacterium too can do that. So always remember that nitrate in urine is as a result of uh, 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 bacteria infection. Very, very important. Very, very important. <laughs>
you know, I decided to, because I was reading, you know, and I, I saw that the glucose content of the drink is very, very high, you know. So I decided to test if you can use the test strip to the test for the glucose in the urine. Then I wanted to know truly that the test strip is coded in specific region that be able to detect various analytes. Okay. Whether in the urine or in other fluids. So I I I, I took the test and I dipped the test in in the in the in the in the drink. And <laughs> what happened was that the the, 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 the color of the uh, glucose on the test tube was deeper than deep. Ha! So that time I was like, <laughs> I decided not to take in those type of drinks again because the, the glucose was there. If I'm if I'm I'm recording for diabetic patient, I'll give the person four pluses. See, so it tells us that the, for the test strip, it is coded in a specific region, so they're able to detect various analytes in anything. Okay. So what am I trying to say? The reagent section for blood, for red blood cells, or for blood, you know, when you take the test strip, there's a reagent section for blood, okay, has been designed in such a way that it can even detect hemolyzed blood samples. So if the blood has been hemolyzed, okay, you will still see that the reagent section of the blood is reacting because it has been designed, it has been coded there to react. So even when the blood has been hemolyzed, the test strip will be able to detect it and to show positive. But when you go and do the microscopic, the microscopic analysis, you may not see blood cells. So some people do urinalysis, their, their, their test strip will, will be positive for blood. But when they view it under the microscope, they won't see anything. They'll be like, wow, why? So always remember that the test strip has been coded for specific region and they're able to detect various analytes. Okay? Even if the blood cells are hemolyzed, take note of that. So urobalinogen, urobalinogen too is found when the RBCs are broken down. You know, when there's breakdown of RBC. So, at the normal circumstance, they are not supposed to be seen in urine. So what may cause abnormal levels of urobalinogen? In the lab, we see increase. If it's, it doesn't increase, in normal, right? So, increased amount. Of urobalinogen can be found in the urine of patients with conditions causing abnormal hemolysis. Okay, so when there is abnormal hemolysis, for instance, sickle cell people, they, their blood are always hemolyzing. Okay, their blood is almost hemolyzing, and such patient, you can see urobalinogen. So this is PD deficiency anemia too can cause that malaria can cause that patient with severe malaria. Okay, you know. Pass has sit in the RBC, cause breakdown, you know, can cause urobalinogen to be seen. Some transfusion reaction can also cause urobalinogen to be seen. So when you suspect this, or when you see urobalinogen, you can, the clinician can suspect something like this, okay? So then, we will end by looking at the microscopic examination, okay? Microscopic examination. So all those that we've spoken about are the macroscopic. Or we can see with our naked eye, okay? But then the microscopic examination is what we observed using the microscope, okay? So after you perform the micros a uh, macroscopic examination, you pour some of the urine in your container, you label, you use your centrifuge to spin, for that you pour, then you use the sediment to prepare smear, okay? Of which you will be able to view it under the microscope. For my medical lab scientists, I hope those of you who are practicing, you know that. So use the times 10 or times 40 to view the cells. Now, what can you see there? Okay, very important. So microscopic examination of urine sample. So you can see what, when you use the microscope, these are some of the things that you have to look out for. You can see red blood cells, okay? Red blood cells. So red blood cells in urine microscopy, what does it mean? Passers. Okay, passers. How do they even look like? Epithelial cells. 
sometimes cast okay cast you can get a cellular cast the granular cast wasi halen and then rbc cast and then crystals uric acid crystals calcium auxiliary that one is my favorite very nice you see under the microscope very very nice and then crystals leucine and other stuff okay so this is rbc when you see rbc in urine you have established the fact that it's mostly due to some bacteria infection most of the time schistosoma hematobium 2 can lead that this this is what is called a parcels you see how it looks like okay parcels very very nice so when you see parcels we call it pyuria so parcels in urine microscopy may be due to bacterial infection okay so bacteria in urine bacteria okay and then urinary tract infection uti it can be due to bacteria so always remember that when you see a lot of parcels a lot of passes suspect bacteria infection okay bacteria infection which is very <laughs>
pH is 6.0. Protein, 4 pluses. Glucose, 3 pluses. Ketose, 2 pluses. The rest, negative. Now, we did the microscopy and the uh, repetitive cells are 2 per high power field, which is, I mean, less. Past cells, 3 per high power field. Halen cast, 10 per high power field, granular cast. So cast are normal, uh, you are higher than the epithelial cells and the past cells. So, with this case study, these are the questions. What is the most probable diagnosis given this urinalysis result? So let's go back to the case study. Let's analyze it. So this patient came, you ran the test. Okay, the color of the urine is yellow. Remember the cause of, some possible cause of uh, 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 yellow color of urine very important so if you go back to the slice or the lecture I have given some possible cause of yellow color in urine okay I just want us to go back and confirm that you know so therefore um, You will be able to solve the question. Okay. So yellow color is due to the pigment, urochrome, urobilin, and porphyrin jaundice. Okay. But then, uh, okay, so let's move on here. Um, okay, so possibly we can rule out the color okay you understand we can rule out the color so the hazy uh, actually may be due to some conditions you know the specific gravity okay ph this values okay. but let's talk about the protein the glucose and the ketones and come back to the microscopy now protein four pluses, you know, at the normal circumstance, you shouldn't see even two plus or one plus in a healthy person. So what may be the possible cause? Remember that Tommy had previously been diagnosed with type one diabetes, and so glucose is high, so it means the diabetes is still there, ketones is still in the diabetes is still there, so there is accumulation of glucose. In the blood and you know because of that it can lead to uh, um, what is called glucose induced kidney failure or kidney damage and when there is glucose induced kidney damage definitely you are going to see some cast or cast in urine supports kidney diseases okay and there's some parcels so protein me Proteinuria is telling us that no, there's diabetes induced kidney damage. So the probable diagnosis, I for instance, I will go for renal disease or renal failure or kidney problem. Okay, okay. So here we can say chronic or acute because you haven't performed the kidney function test. So just go for kidney disease or kidney damage. Why am I saying so? Because of the test result and some important analysis from the because he has previously been diagnosed and still you run the test and there are glucose and ketones and past cells are supporting the father. It means this patient actually has persistent glucose in the blood and whenever there is glucose in the blood, glucose causes or induces renal failure and that is why the normal function of the kidney has been impaired and therefore proteins that are not supposed to be in the blood as we see in the urine are now there four pluses okay so the probable diagnosis I will go for renal damage or kidney damage now what are the three other things can what other three things can be seen microscopically to indicate this condition so if we are saying it is renal damage or kidney disease what are some of the things that can be seen in urine to confirm? So, 
you can see RBC cast, WBC cast, K, some epithelial cells cast of the urine, the renal peritubular cells cast, and they will all support the fact that sometimes you can even see cast like calcium or auxiliary crystal, you know, some crystal, you know, they can all support the fact that some crystals can support the fact that there is kidney and so what is the significance of increased glucose and ketone results so what is the significance of this so actually these two results are giving us a clue that there is still diabetes okay the patient has a lot of glucose in the blood and in the urine and therefore it is the diabetes that is causing the kidney to fail for inducing renal failure. Okay, so you know, whenever there is diabetes, they should in DK, for instance, you it is likely to see ketones. Okay, so actually, this ketones and the glucose giving us a clue that this patient he is having a kidney disease which is due to diabetes. Okay, so diabetes induced kidney failure very important. So another question is why is Tommy Edimacus? You well, if you read he said Tommy was brought to you by his mother to some edema edema around his eyes. So this one gives me support the fact that Tommy has renal disease. Because at a normal circumstance, proteins or albumin are in the blood. Now albumin function in the blood, you know what it does? Maintains on cortic pressure, okay? So that at a normal circumstance, fluid will not move out, fluid will not come in. There is a balance between osmotic or contact pressure and hydrostatic pressure. Now, whenever there is low level of albumin or protein in the serum or in the plasma or the blood, there is going to be impaired function of osmotic or oncotic pressure. So low level of protein, low level of oncotic pressure. And when there is low level of uncorted pressure, fluid will tend to move from the ECF and accumulate in the tissues. And so you can see clearly that there is excess loss of protein because of the kidney damage. And so these proteins are going to be in the urine. So the proteins in the serum, the level has been reduced. And therefore, this tummy, okay, this tummy has low uncorted pressure. And so that is why you are seeing that his edematos around the eye and that stuff. Okay, so very important. Stage two blood test you would request to aid in Tommy's diagnosis. So if I want to suspect kidney disease, I will go for estimation of serum creatinine and urea. Okay, because we established that creatinine is highly excreted by the kidney. So we go for kidney, uh, kidney function test. Okay, kidney fun function test. What other tests can we go for? Uh -huh. So apart from kidney function test, if you suspect you want to do diagnosis for this, another blood test that you can go for. So we've spoken about a kidney function test, okay? So you now the kidney function test is going to aid in. I mean, I mean, knowing that Tommy is actually facing. Uh, 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 problem with the kidney, okay. So, not only the kidney function test, but also perform serum electrolyte level. You can estimate sodium level, bicarbonate level to see if really there is problem with the kidney, okay. So, what is the major complication associated with Tommy's condition? So, this uh, if Tommy has a problem with the kidney. Now he's a dematode. That one is confirming it all. You know. There's impaired kidney can no longer perform its function. Definitely can be cardiac failure. Okay, cardiac failure. Okay. So that's my opinion on the question. Maybe if you have different opinion, you can put it at the comment section. We talk about that and discuss. Thanks for joining this class. Try to subscribe to the channel for more of such videos. <laughs>